Dear students, let's solve few problem on reciprocating pump. So dear students, let's consider one problem on numerical. A single acting reciprocating pump running at 50 RPM delivers 0 0.00736 meter cube per second of water. Diameter of the piston is 200 mm and stroke length is 300 mm. The suction and the delivery heads are 3.5 meter and 11.5 meter respectively. Determine theoretical discharge, coefficient of discharge, percentage of slip and power required to run the pump. So this particular problem is based on single acting reciprocating pump. So let's try to solve this problem. So in this problem, speed of the pump that is n is given 50 rpm and actual discharge actual discharge this is q actual is given 0 0.00736 meter cube per second those are the given datas so diameter of the piston is given diameter of the piston that is d 200 mm so it is equal to 0.2 meter so find out the area of the piston area of the piston that is capital A suppose this is pi by 4 d square so it is pi by 4 point 0.2 square and it will be point zero three one two meter square after that stroke length that is L is given 300 mm so point 0.3 meter suction heat suction heat that is H S 3.5 meter delivery head is D 11.5 meter those are the given data now as you know the theoretical discharge theoretical discharge which is Q TH is given by a L N divided by 60. So if I put the value here 0 0.0312 into L is 0.3 into 50 divided by 60 then it will be 0 0.00785 meter cube per second. then coefficient coefficient of this source this source that is cd it will be actual this source divided by theoretical this source so actual this source is 0 0.00736 divided by 0 0.00785 it will be 0.937 so let's find out percentage of percentage of slip which is equal to theoretical minus actual divided by theoretical into 100 so it will be 
जीरो जीरो सेवेन एट फाइव माइनस पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवेन थ्री सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवेन एट फाइव इनटू हंड्रेड सो इट विल बी सिक्स पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंटेज सो लेट्स कम टू द पावर सो पावर required to run the farm so p will be rho g a l n divided by 16 to 1000 because we are converting this one into kilowatt a s s plus a s t now if you put the value here it will be 1000 9.81 area is 0 0.312 into L.3 n is 50 divided by 60 into 1000 and this is 3.5 plus 11.5 and after simplification we will get 1.1 Five five kilowatt. So this is the answer. So let's take another problem. A double acting reciprocating pump running of running at uh, forty five rpm is discharging point zero one eight meter cube per second of water. Pump has a stroke of forty cm. Diameter of the piston is twenty cm. Suction and delivery heads are 3 meter, 14 meter respectively. Find out the slip of the pump and power required to drive the pump. So this particular problem is double acting reciprocating pump. So let's try to solve it. So in this problem, diameter of the piston that is d is given 20 cm so it will be 0.2 meter 0.2 meter and stroke length that is l is given 40 cm so it will be 0.4 meter axial discharge axial Axwell discharge this is Q axwell 0.018 meter cube per second. <coughs> then is speed of the pump speed of the pump speed of the pump that is N is 45 R P M and Suction head is S three meter delivery head is D fourteen meter. Those are the given data. So from this you find out area area of the piston. A pi by 4 d square so it will be pi by 4 point 2 square so it will be point zero three one four meter square now theoretical this source so theoretical discharge is given by theoretical discharge QTH is given by since it is double acting so it will be 2 A L N by 60 so it will be 2 into 0 0.0314 into 0.4 into 45 divided by 60 and 
this will be point zero one eight eight four meter cube per second after that you have to find out the slip so slip will be actual discharge by uh, theoretical discharge by actual so it will be point zero one eight eight four minus actual is point zero one eight so it will be point zero 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 eight four meter cube per second so this come to the power power required to drive the pump drive the pump this P will be rho z twice rho g a l n by 60 into 1000 ss ds so if i put the value here this is 2 into 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.0314 into l is 0.4 into 45 divided by 60 into 1000 and this one is 3 plus 14 it will be key the answer will be 3.14895 kilowatt so this is the answer i hope you understand the numerical thank you stay safe